combining these together. Oh. Ms. Johnson, on the front of the table next to the Chem 2 books, the two old brown books, there should be some parafilm. Can you grab me? We'll swig. So we have, <clears throat> we have a reaction in here. The zinc of the hydrochloric acid. What is that doing? Describe it to me, please. Making a gas. Making a gas. What gas is it specifically making? I heard it whispered loudly. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. Okay. So hydrogen gas is being produced from here, the aerial myoplasm. It is going up the tube, down this tube, into this container. Okay. So this container is filling with hydrogen gas. Okay, I put a lid on it at the bottom to try to help it kind of the hydrogen kind of stay in here-ish. Problem is hydrogen is a colorless gas, right? The other problem is hydrogen is lighter than air, so I can't contain it in something that has a hole in the top, right? Because the Now, just so you know, this reaction has a 33% chance of success, 67% chance of disappointment. Okay? So I've done it three times and it's worked once. <laughs> so I'm going to let it go for a little while, try to get that hydrogen building up in there. Okay? The reason why we wrote the equation for the formula for the formation of water on the board, uh, what's missing from that equation? Help me out. It's what? Where? It's not balanced, right? It's not balanced. Uh, how do we balance that? Ms. Johnson will gladly do it if you tell her what to do. 2H2. 2H2, yes, yes. And then 2H2S, right? So we would expect the hydrogen and the oxygen will combine in a 2 to 1 ratio, right, in order to make water. Right? So good. Oh, yeah!